Does anyone know what the difference between pre-fader and post-fader is? You know, who know. Tell us, Mr. Audio. On a bus send or a volume meter, the term post-fader refers to the fact that the signal strength is proportional to the fader position, meaning that it will be louder if the fader is higher and quieter if the fader is lower. Most effect sends are post-faders, so for example, the amount of reverb or delay is always proportional to the original dry signal. However, whenever the mix engineer wants to create a totally independent mix, pre-fader sends are more useful. For instance, when using pre-fader sends to create a cue mix, the engineer can change the control room mix, say, to check the sound of a particular track, without changing what the musicians in the studio are hearing. Also, pre-fade sends are sometimes used to create bizarre reverb effects where the reverb is not proportional to the signal. There's usually a pre-post button on the bus send that lets the engineer select one of the two choices. Thanks, Mr. Audio. For more interesting facts about sound, visit Mr. Audio at soundimages.com.